I'll tell you what, Michael, in front of the home crowd, you can get no bigger support than that. A great ovation for John Wayne Park. And let's go across to the smoothest voice in the business, Mr Andy Raymond. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Explosion main event, shoot boxing at its finest. We are scheduled for five three-minute rounds in this international contest. Introducing first and representing the red corner. He weighed in at an even 72 kilograms. He is trained by Cesar Takashi from Team Stealth Osaka, Japan. At 26 years of age, his record reads 32 fights, 21 wins, four draws and 13 knockouts. The JS BA middleweight shoot boxing champion Ruji Gatto! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, representing Queensland, Australia! He weighed in at an even 73 kilograms. His trainers from the Voonchu Gym, Richard Walsh and the Hurricane, Paul Briggs. He is back from overseas and has had 58 fights for 44 wins and 26 times. The opponent has gone to sleep. A former Thai Kings champion, Australian middleweight boxing champion, and IMF world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your very own gunslinger, John Wayne. Once again, Mr. Cameron Quinn. Well, we're about to get underway in the main event. It will be Wayne Barr of Australia, Ryuji Gato of Japan. Last minute instructions from Cameron Quinn. Groin shots, head shots, careful. Listen to my command. Touch gloves, fight strong. Well, the stare down there from John Wayne Barr, and we're about to get underway. Michael Chavello ringside with the hammer, Mark Castanini. And the time for talk is over. Paul Briggs removes the Mongon from the head of John Wayne Barr. The Ryuji Gato, human Garana bean over in the red corner. He is ready for action. And we're about to get underway. First of five, three. Shoot boxing rules do apply if you've just joined us. It is Muay Thai with the addition of throws and standing blocks. And here we go. Five kicks to open up proceedings here from Gotto. Right hand from Gotto. Well, Gotto moving the same as his Japanese counterpart, Shishido. Moving very quick rapid fire. Wayne Parr very composed. Ooh, Parr takes a right hand to the jaw. Body shots, leg kick there from Gotto. High left round kick from Parr. Front kick to the midsection from Parr. These Japanese are deceptively quick fighters. They base their style not on power, but rather rapid fire speed. Outside thigh kick from Gotto. Double jab, leg kick, good leg check there from Parr. Handiwork now from John Wayne Park. Looking for the overhand elbow early on. Straight right hand from Parr. Inside thigh kick from Gotto. Then to the opposite leg. Good check again from Parr. Been checking a lot of the kicks so far. High right round kick. Caught on the four rounds. Nice thigh kick there to the lead thigh from Gotto. And he's showing no respect for John Wayne Parr early on. He's kicking a lot of that lead leg, Gotto. He's moving uh, very, very quickly, but a lot of uh, his kicks are non-power-based lead leg kicking. Oh, he wears a right hand and an overhand elbow to the side of the head. And now John Wayne Parr starting to mix it up Muay Thai style. It is really a battle of Muay Thai versus shoot boxing, this one. Straight right hand, looking for the big boom shakalaka, John Wayne Parr. Step up elbow, outside thigh kick there from Gotto. Double jab, leg kick was checked. 
Gets the second one in on the lead leg. Jab leg kick again from Gotto. Very simple technique, but he's trying to score the points. Crossing elbow there, John Wayne Parr. Leg check from Parr, then picks him up the front kick. One minute remaining, double body shot from Parr. High left round kick. John Wayne Parr, house on fire. Double crossing elbow off the right. And now Wayne Parr unloading the heavy artillery. Fancy footwork to get him out of Danger City. Leg check there from John Wayne Park. Got to try for the side headlock. Park just spins him off. Step up knee from Gotta. It's been a good first round thus far for JWP Hammer. Well, it certainly has been. It's a real power-based battle here. Gotto going for speed and uh, rapid fire technique. Park just looking for the big shots. He's doubling up. Overhand elbow there from Parr, didn't quite come up for him. Checks the low kick, front kick to the midsection, a real gut muncher. Belly button through the back, outside thigh kick from Gotta. Parr caught with a straight left there. Oh, spinning back elbow, John Wayne Parr style. Trying to exceed the top, but he dumps him down. Not high enough to register a count though, or register any sort of score, but end of the first round, a convincing one for Parr. Well, certainly Parr just showing his authority, stamping his authority in that first round. Gotto doing uh, a lot of work, but Pa, when he did throw something, it did count, and they were big shots. This is the Express Mobile Extravaganza, brought to you here in Queensland. Once again, we see Pa going body, 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 and then working up high to the head. Gotto catching Pa with a straight left, but Pa answering threefold, throwing for the round elbow off the rear, which Gotto's open for. But uh, he put that uh, right hand over the left sand, hand side of his face there, Gotto, and guarded against a very dangerous right round elbow from Pa. There it is there. You can see him just double guarding the side of his head, Gotto. And uh, Wayne Pa really trying to do a demolition job here on Gotto in center ring. Well, there was no filling out process whatsoever for John Wayne Pa. He went at him early. And Kane Pa continued the... Hyped momentum he started in the first round. Here we go, second stanza, set for five. Well, Michael Chavella and Mark Castaneda ringside. Coming at you from the Southport Sharks on the Gold Coast. Another quality Ray Matsumura promotion, Hammer. Well, I'll tell you what, John Wayne Parr is still upset over his uh, loss to Michael Zambides in the K1 Max. He feels he was ripped off. And again, talking to Wayne Parr yesterday or last night at the weigh-in, he was absolutely devastated that the judges didn't uh, see that fight his way and uh, believes after vi watching the video footage of that fight with Zambides that he well and truly won. So uh, I think he's here to exercise a little bit of authority on uh, Goto in his uh, follow-up fight. Double inside thigh kick from Goto, then wears a high left round kick to the head. Pecking front kick to the midsection there from Parr. Step up knee off the left from Parr. Inside thigh kick Goto, then takes one to the outside lead thigh. Oh, the big overhand elbow again, looking for the big box choice John Wayne Parr. Well, Gotto's guarding the left-hand side of his face with his right glove, which is in fact leaving the right-hand side of his head open. But Wayne Parr throws the right rear elbow and then doubles back with the left round elbow. He could have a chance of catching the side of Gotto's head. Nice peppering jab there from Gotto. Caught Wayne Parr a couple of times on the bridge of the nose. Straight right hand there from Parr. Might chop away that lead thigh. Thought about the body shot, went for the head kick. Frankie just picking off Gotto, then went up to the sternum area. Good range of technique here from John Wayne Parr. Awkward uppercut from Gotto. High head kick from Parr. Leg check from Parr was a nice one. Then wore a right hand on the noggin. Body shot from Parr, trying to hip toss him. Can he get him over waist height? Side headlock there from Gotto. And Gotto takes him down with a beautiful sweep. Nicely done from the Japanese fighter. Just sweeping out the support leg with the heel. Snappy jab there from Parr. Launching that rib kick off the rear leg, Parr. Inside thigh kick, Parr checked it. Overhand right from Parr, straight through the guard. Outside thigh kick, trying to catch the kicking leg. Got 
Kato still standing. Here's a tough one, this chap from Osaka. Again, interesting with that right elbow. Kato guards it with the glove. Park and either throw the round left over elbow or just a snappy left hook because the, side, the uh, right side of Kato's head is totally exposed when he guard, guards against that elbow or right shot. Overhand elbow from Park. Gut munching front kicks off either leg. Jab, leg kick combination from Gotto, then one to the lead thigh. Jab again from Gotto, that sticky left hand of his. Into the final seconds now. Succession of knees, but hitting him on the forearm. End of the round, another one for Jake WP. Good round from uh, John Wayne Parr, putting it together well, and it's constant work rate, and he is the more aggressive of the two, stalking forward continually, Wayne Parr. See the overhead view, Parr just going to work, body, body and head. He's ranging his technique high and low, legs and hands all working in unison. John Wayne Parr trying for the hip toss here or the throw, not really coming. Both fighters tangle. Parr keeps working his knee to the back of Goto, but uh, just a bit of a slippery takedown there. Not really paying it, that one. I'd say it was just a fall from both fighters. Wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, include that in the takedown point game. Comments from the Hammer, Mark Castanini, ringside with myself, Michael Chevallo. We are on the Gold Coast at the Southport Sharks. And another great promotion from Rei Matsumura. Double jab there from Ryuji Goto of Japan. Wayne Pass stalking forward again, probing out with that left hand, then the front kick off the rear leg. He wants to land the good night Irene elbow on Goto. Big right hand, a tub thumper, side of the head, a rattle in the ears. Body shot, head shot from Goto, sweeps out the leg! Those Pearl Harbor leg kicks, Wayne Parr didn't see it coming. That uh, could be a flaw in Parr's defence when he just stands there in check mode. He's standing there when Goto leg kicks him, he's just propping himself on one leg and uh, leaving that uh, supporting leg in check mode. He needs to keep his balance, Parr. Quick right hand like a diesel piston there from John Wayne Parr. Goto's confidence crescendoing in this round. One gets the feeling that Wayne Parr's just taking stock. And here he comes again, John Wayne Parr, round elbow landing. Double knee strike to the stern and Goddard just throws him backwards. He won't allow John Wayne Parr to bully him. Crossing elbow to the forehead. Inside thigh kick, outside thigh kick from Parr. Uppercut from Goddard, chops away at the lead thigh. And intimidation here from John Wayne Parr. Inside thigh kick. Jab from Gotto. Front kick by Parr. Body shots from Parr. Nice one, two to the body. Gotto goes to the head. Rear right round kick. Front kick to the midsection. Been using that pecking front kick quite well throughout the entire fight so far, John Wayne Parr. Right hand just falls short of the target on the chin. Right hand of Gotto, not enough mustard behind it. Rib kick there from Parr. That'll take the starch right out of Gotto. Dropping right hand down the bread basket. Uppercut. Crossing elbow from Parr. All tied up against the ropes. Can Gotto execute a hip toss here? Or maybe even a suplex? Oh, knee to the jaw and he caught him under it. Wayne Parr's been tagged by that one. I don't know if it cl hit cleanly, Michael. I think it was a little bit short. I looked to have momentarily caught him, but we might be able to get a replay later on. All tied up now. Chokehold may be here by Gotto. Gotto trying for the standing choke. Parr needs to grab it. He's hand. got it locked on. Parr trying to drop his body weight to get out of there. And that means it's such a nice turnaround for Wayne Parr. Almost a standing choke on Gotto. Wayne Parr's exploded. Here comes the right elbow. Trying to crack the cheekbone on Gotto. Trying to dump into the canvas. Muay Thai style. Into the final 15 seconds now. Big right hand from Parr. Leg kick from Gotto. It has been a better round for the Japanese fighter, but still, maybe not enough to steal that hammer. Well, almost a standing choke there. It depends how the judges are going to pay that one. I tell you what, he almost had it locked on. And Parr, who either was just playing possum or he was actually, uh, actually legitimately locked up. 
And I think it's Cameron Quinn instructing Hammer that it is going to be a point for the standing choke. It's a point for the standing choke. I believe so. Well, that uh, almost gives that round to Gotthor then. Reynolds, Labrador, Real Estate, funky phones, yes, I believe they have awarded a point for the standing choke. Point for the standing choke. That gives that round, I'd say, either a draw or uh, it could go the way of Gotthor. There you see the sweep takedown from Gotthor. Well, Parr was just standing there in check mode. As they trade hook for hook, Parr using the front kick cleverly underneath, but he just goes into uh, stance there and leaves his supporting leg uh, on, the, on the ground on its own and just uh, that prop lead leg. There's the choke. There's the choke. Latched on. As Gotto has the, uh, the figure four choke on Parr standing. Outside thigh kick from Wayne Parr to open up proceedings in this round. Right hand falls short of the target. High left round kick to the head. Snappy jab there from Gotto. Outside thigh kick from Gotto. Caught him. Oh, a bit of foot to face. How about that for a toe sandwich from John Wayne Park? Push kick to the face. Send Gotto back. But uh, ever resilient. Gotto keeps stalking forward on John Wayne Park. Ever confident after that last round, Michael, I think Gotham may have drawn a little bit of confidence from the standing choke that he applied. Oh, he'll be trying to lock it on again if he can get in close enough on Wayne Parr. Parr picking him off. Oh, nice combination. Knee then tagging jab from the Japanese fighter. Rib kick there from Parr. Right hand didn't find it. Uppercut did from Gotto. This is a better round so far from the Japanese. Uppercut from Parr. Tagging right hand through the guard. Outside thigh kick Parr. Front kick to the midsection. Double jab, thigh kick. Nice scoring techniques from Gotto. The big shot to the body there from Parr. Look at the step up knee. There it is to the midsection. Spinning back elbow. Gotto, a little bit too quick for him. Dancing around. Front kick sends him back a couple of steps. Couldn't get through close enough to work that left hand yet, Gotto. Parr picks him up with a jab of his own. Cracking outside thigh kick to the rear leg. Nice front kick here from Parr. Parr really on his game defensively, keeping Gotto at a distance here in this round. Well, even though they are defensive techniques, you still have to pay them because they are scoring those push kicks and those probing jabs. Oh, nice tagging right hand there from Gotto. Right hand from Wayne Parr. And Gotto not taking a step backwards. Now he does as Parr goes to the body. Knee from Parr. Again, taste of foot to mouth and Gotto just sweeps him down to the canvas. Final 50 seconds of this round. Been an intriguing battle. Straight right hand there from Park. Outside, inside thigh kick. Step around Gotto. Outside thigh kick to the lead thigh of Park. Straight right hand. Just on the cheekbone there from Park. Now he's got Gotto in the red corner. Let's him out of there though. Uh, trying to push him back into that corner again. Good place to have him. Maybe roll an overhand right once he's got him bailed up in there. Body shot outside, thigh kick from Parr. Oh, the overhand elbow to the nose, and another one. Gotto's being stunned in the neutral corner. All tied up now. Can Gotto execute the choke again? Can't get it on. Referee Cameron Quinn separates both men into the final five seconds of this round. Gotto sucks in the air, and there it is, Hammer. How did you see it? Round, I tell you what, another good round for Goto. But uh, Wayne Parr, he was busy though, Michael. He's landing those front kicks, he's landing the punches to the body, and you have to score all of that. Although the um, the Japanese fighter Goto is, is landing, uh, you know, some sensational stuff like the the, uh, the sweeps and so forth. Wayne Parr is just tradesman-like effort, working constantly, and you've got to count all those scoring shots. Here on the Gold Coast. Outside thigh kick from Gotto. Push kick to the face. Front kick. Exactly right. February 24th. Once again, having a look from another angle. Gotto caught the leg though. Sweep, bang. Down goes Wayne Parr. Very good pick up there from Gotto. But uh, Wayne Parr, just constant work rate. Trying for the round elbow. Got her arms all over the place. Making Parr's job very, very hard indeed. Well, we are ready to get it on. It has all come down to this. A fantastic international contest. Gotto Park, Japan, Australia. Both men touch gloves.
And here we go, final round. Rib kick from par, lead leg. Outside thigh kick from par. Rib kick from par, rear leg. Checks the low kick from Gotto. Another good check there from par. Inside thigh kick to the rear leg from Gotto. Wilds up a gut from the Japanese. Crossing elbow over the top from par. Couldn't get it off. Bruising knee to the midsection from Parr just forces him back into the neutral corner. Gotto trying to execute the side headlock, can't get it. Suplex attempted there from Wayne Parr, just dumps into the canvas. No clean technique, nothing in it. Oh, Gotto didn't see it coming. Well, you've got to watch yourselves at all times. <laughs> Wayne Parr racing across the ring there. Double round kick from Gotto, right hand. Right hand, on the cheek. The guard, that one. Bring it home strongly here, John Wayne Parr. Uppercut from Gotto. Double jab, Gotto. Round kick from Parr to the rib cage. Snappy jab again from Gotto. Guarded up with a forearm against the round kick. Ooh, step up knee from Wayne Parr. Wayne Parr. And then picks him up for the front kick. Precision technique, flying knee to the rib cage there from Parr. Gotto trying for that side headlock again. Can't work it around. Can Parr suplex him? No, he can't. Trying for a rolling takedown there, Gotto. Couldn't get it off. And intimidation again from Wayne Parr. Good. Good. Just wiping the canvas there. Cameron Quinn, a little bit slippery. Into the final minute almost of this final round. It's been a really intriguing battle. High left round kick, rib kick off the right leg from Parr. Four punch combination from Gotto. Again, high left round kick from Parr. Caught on the forearms, the outside thigh kick Gotto. Oh, right hand tagged in, twisted the head a little. That's the second time in this round that Wayne Parr's sitting off the right hand in. He's starting to get his aim up Wayne Parr. Gotto looks like he's tiring a little bit now. Gotto calling him on, saying, come on, Wayne. And Parr just content to pick him up at a distance. Overhand, elbow. Nice one on top of the cranium. Going for the headache maker. Front kick from Parr. Right hand from Parr. Double thigh kick, triple thigh kick, four thigh kicks from Gotto. None of them getting through. Right hand from Parr. This crowd going off their rockets. Can you make it nice really close? He's trying for that downward elbow again. Got by answering. He's answering threefold. Wayne Parr needs to get that leg back on the ground. It's after the leg check straight away. Final seconds now. Not long left. Hammer, how do you see it? I tell you what, great work Look right there from uh, Wayne Parr and Gotto. There's nothing in this at all. The deciding point could be the fact that Gotto did have that one point standing choke. It's going to be interesting to see how the judges score this one after uh, a very torrid affair. Really the only pure shoot boxing uh, technique that was effective in, uh, in the whole battle was the standing choke that Gotto applied. Now it's going to be a matter of, okay, let's have a look at that round. Wayne Park was probably ahead without the choke. Then Gotto got the choke. So that would probably even that round out. The other rounds, I'd say, I'd probably score at just Wayne Parr on, the, on work, effective work rate alone. Gotto did throw a lot, but a lot of it was taken on the uh, gloves and arms. But this one's going down to the judges. Having a look here at Gotto working the punches. The uppercut did get in there on par. Gotto uh, working good range and rapid fire technique. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. How about putting your hands together before we do? Judge Michael McDermott scores the bout 48 48. Draw. Oh, Judge Friendly Vacali scores the bout 50 46. Paul Buxton 50 46. For your winner, John!
decision over to Yuji Gata of Japan. Well, either way you look at it, it was an awesome international contest. And at the end of the day, the power, the grit and determination of the legendary John Wayne Parr powered through against one of the true superstars of international shoot boxing, Japan's Ryuji Goto. From myself, Michael Chevallo and the hammer, Mark Castanini, thank you for joining us and good night.